Only on CBS This Morning, we are taking you inside the self-driving car program operated by Waymo, a sister company of Google. It's the first time Waymo has allowed cameras in their autonomous minivans. The company is preparing to launch the nation's first self-driving taxi service. Analysts predict self-driving revenue will hit a staggering $2.3 trillion by 2030, with Waymo capturing 60% of that market. Chris Van Cleef got the first access in Chandler, Arizona. Good morning. We're in the back of a Waymo. That's Google's self-driving car company. And this is something you haven't seen before. They've never let cameras back here, but very soon they're going to start letting the general public use these, hail them like an Uber. Except one big difference here. The car will be doing the driving, not the person up front. I've requested the ride. Barbara Adams just used her phone to summon the self-driving future. We're riding with her to the drugstore in what will soon be the nation's first autonomous ride-hailing taxi service. For the past year, she's been part of Waymo's secretive early rider program, made up of more than 400 households in Chandler, Arizona. I usually use it for date night on Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> And my favorite thing is going to the mall. Yes, we wanted Waymo, but we wanted that commitment on safety. They've had that commitment. Jay Tib Schraney is Chandler's mayor. Do you feel like that this is a technology that changes the way people move? It does. It does. Now, we got to keep watching it. We got to keep the safety factors in mind. But if, in fact, this works like they're planning it to, it's a game changer. Hundreds of autonomous driving Waymo vans operate daily within a roughly 100 square mile area. For now, they typically have a safety driver up front who can take control. Screens inside show the riders what the Waymo sees around it. Cameras, sensors, radar, and laser-based LIDAR allows the onboard computers to see up to three football fields in every direction. All technology Google developed itself and closely guards. So it's hard not to notice that the car is driving itself. There is a safety driver here, but the car is doing the steering, and it, it does feel a little different. The self-driving car is a little more hesitant at points than perhaps a driver would be at things like approaching a yellow light, for example. Uh, but for the most part, you pretty much feel like you're in a car being driven by a person. We want to build the most experienced driver. Takedra Mawakana is Waymo's detail. chief external officer. Matters. It's actually taken this 10 million miles, over 6 billion miles in simulation, over thousands and hundreds of thousands of tests to get to the answer, yes, we firmly believe that self-driving technology can help make the road safer. Waymo is also testing self-driving semis, working on public transit solutions and a way to license its self-driving technology to big automakers. But it all starts with the ride-hailing app. It'll soon launch in Arizona. Is Waymo ready for the general public? Waymo is ready to give more people the opportunity to ride in our cars. How's it gone so far? It's been fantastic. You know, Samantha Jackson and her 17-year-old daughter are Waymo early riders. Kyla uses the service almost daily to get to school and work. I get in, air conditioning's on, so it's nice and cool, and then like I'm just doing my homework all the way to work. The promise of self-driving cars is to free up commuters while reducing the 94% of crashes caused by human error. But after last March's deadly collision between a self-driving Uber and a pedestrian, only 21% of people say they're willing to ride in a driverless car. How do you combat the concern that's out there about whether or not uh, autonomous vehicles are safe enough to be on the roads? We found again and again and again when people come and they experience the technology firsthand, they have their own personal transformation. They say, oh, I get it. While Waymo autonomous vehicles have been involved in crashes, usually minor, they've been the fault of people, not the machine. How confident are you that those cars aren't going to make a mistake? Safety is our focus every day at Waymo. There is the possibility that there will be a mistake like there has been in the self-driving technology space. So we don't walk around laboring under the delusion that mistakes won't happen. Did you ever worry about the safety of being in a car that's not driven by a person? So I never really worried about what it was going to be like to have an autonomous vehicle handling things. And when we were early drivers, it would stop for, you know, um, if it didn't recognize something, it would always stop. Waymo does intend to completely remove the safety driver eventually, so there'll be no one up front at all. That app-based ride-hailing service is expected to launch here in Arizona by the end of the year.
For CBS This Morning, Chris Van Cleve, Chandler, Arizona. Look, there's no doubt that that's the future, right? There are concerns uh, about accidents. There are concerns about hacking into this technology. But make no mistake, between Uber, between Google and, and Waymo, this is the future. I sort of feel everybody has to do it or no one should do it because there's going to be people driving cars and you're going to have self-driving cars. It's going to be a little... Tricky it's on the never, roads. It's never coming to New York, though, because people really are invested in telling their drivers where to go. <laughs> you, know, you would rob them of that opportunity. So. Can't have that. <laughs> All right.